Another Saints win, 6-1 and one through seven games, and my four takeaways from the blasting of the Bears begins at the 2017 NFL Draft. Now, I studied hard for that draft because the Saints had a ton of picks. In round two, they hit on Marcus Williams. Round three, Alvin Kamara, Alex Anzalone, Trey Hendrickson. And then the two first-rounders, both Marshawn Lattimore at pick 11 and Ryan Ramchek at pick 32, were home runs. That class is why the Saints are where they are. Now, in that same draft class, the Bears had the Second overall pick, they took North Carolina's Mitchell Trubisky. Right now, Trubisky is 27th in the NFL in quarterback rating. And you know what other quarterbacks were taken in round one that year that the Bears passed on? I'm guessing you know. It's Patrick Mahomes, who went 10th to the Chiefs. Deshaun Watson went 12th to the Texans. The Bears thought Trubisky was better. Right now, Mahomes is third in quarterback rating. Watson is fifth. And those three guys are forever linked. Imagine how scary the Bears would be with their defense defense if one of those guys were quarterbacking in Chicago. All right, number three, CJ, GJ, and the replacements were brilliant. Four guys, Teddy Bridgewater, another quarterback rating over 100, which is terrific, zero interceptions, twice he ran for first downs. Josh Hill chipped or blocked Khalil Mack. I counted 11 times, plus he caught three passes, one for a touchdown. He was solid. Latavius Murray got a superhuman 30 touches for 100 150 yards and two touchdowns. And then the rookie, C.J. Gardner-Johnson, started over Patrick Robinson and was outstanding. Seven tackles, two tackles for loss, two PBUs and a quarterback hit. He was all over the field, and he plays with a swagger that's contagious. Number two, in a battle of defenses, at least Sunday, Cam was greater than Khalil. Khalil Mack is the Bears' superstar. Sunday, though, he had one quarterback hit on a play when Will Clapp had him. When Teron Armstead had him, he did nothing. Cam Jordan, on the other hand, two sacks, two tackles for loss, two quarterback hits. His numbers were better. And when I rewatched the game, the eyeball test would tell you he was a disruptive force. Khalil Mack, for the most part, wasn't. And number one, and it's the same number one I had two weeks ago, Sean Payton is killing it. The offensive creativity, Zach Line running the option, the personnel decision decisions, like playing Gardner Johnson in 91% of defensive snaps. And the general motivational magic have the Saints without Drew Brees 6-1. Peyton is without a doubt the NFL's coach of the year at this point in the season. He is on a roll. And that is my number one takeaway from Chicago.